What a nice day at our space station. <sighs> Let's see what could go wrong. I don't think there's anything that could go wrong today. Hmm, what's that? Oh man, that's not good. Okay, so we need to... Okay, at least we have this to start off with. Which is a good thing. A very good thing. Let's check if our engines are on. Okay. Don't worry, we're coming to save you! Oh god, then I forgot to wait check test this. It's very heavy. Ugh. Well, at least we're getting somewhere. We're coming for you! Looks like we're already down on our first stage. Let's go! We're coming! I check our orbit so far. It looks like we need to separate again. Sonny, heat up. I guess we already have some fuel inside. We're coming for you. We have no idea how much fuel is in this. But we're coming. We're coming to get you. We turn. Because we're already in deep space. After this engine runs out, then we'll try and move away from it just so we don't explode. It's moving out, which is good. We're coming! We're almost getting into an orbit. It's 
Let's move out of the way. Okay, now we can set off our bearings. Okay, we're almost getting the little bit. Okay, you almost got it. We got an orbit. Okay, now we need to navigate all the way to Mars. If we zoom in, we can see it. The rocket that we need to save. Oh, that's going to take us a long time. Oh, he's not starving. Hopefully. It's taken us a real long time. We're almost at the transfer window, aka the place where we get the collective out amount to get there. We're almost there. Okay, now we get our transfer window that's coming up in our orbit. We're not leaving a person behind. We are not leaving a person behind. We're not letting them stay stranded on Mars' surface. No matter how much fuel we need to use, we'll get there eventually. Let's go! We have now escaped the Earth's orbit. We're out of fuel. When you almost get there, we can just stage again. This is our last stage. Let's just try and move out of the way. Okay, now we'll go over to Mars just to see where we are. There's our moon loot Martian lander. Now we'll time up where we'll get close enough to get into orbit around the, the planet. Where we are, we're, okay, now we're cl close to the planet now. We can see him on our tracker system. We need to turn around. And start boosting. To save him. This is our launch pad that's going down. That's just wasting our fuel. Now this should get us into an orbit around Mars as the command module. We're getting a slow orbit around Mars because now we don't need it anymore. Even though we have lots of fuel, we'll just use it for our own benefit. Just slow down and get closer and closer to the atmosphere of Mars. Because we tried to send him on a mission to investigate lunar, like, Martian rocks on the Olympus Mons to show its past, but we forgot how much fuel we had to give him. 
We need him get. We need to get close enough just so our Martian lander will get there. So now we'll get here. Now we will separate. No, we will uh, remove any remaining fuel in. No, get any remaining fuel into this. And now we'll separate. Now we'll name this quickly. Uh, hold on, guys. Now there's our command module, and these is our. This is our lander. Now we need to wait until we uh, get closer, like far away from possible, so we can use the least amount of fuel if possible. Although our rockets are right next to each other, which it literally is, we can still use our RCs to get close as possible. So far we're in a bad position, so we need to get as far away as possible, which is right here, to get better control and use as, m as less fuel as possible. Okay, this is a good way of doing it. We need to do something quickly. So right about here, we are... Yeah, we can see the orbital change. So now we'll lightly boost with our land landing legs. And then slowly boost towards the surface. And I forgot how to do that. So we're going to be landing in the wrong place. So let's try and get ourselves back up. There we go. So now we need to be right here. That was close. <laughs> so we need to be around there. So I think we'll land right onto Olympus Mons. Looks like it's not working. up guys and just get some there we go. Let's revert back. Now we need to be uh, closer for some reason. I actually we actually don't know why. So now since we excited ourselves in a way, we can now get ourselves in a better way. So now we can turn and basically do a suicide burn. Well, this line will hit Olympus Mons. Right there. Maybe a bit higher. Right about there. Now we just speed up until we enter the atmosphere. Now luckily for us we added some uh, heat proof protection. But we need but the prob that's not the problem though. The problem is the amount the amount of speed that we are coming in at. Cause that's the biggest problem that we need to face with such little fuel as well because there's chances where we, we might accidentally launch ourselves back into orbit like what just happened now but we have a backup plan by going like that and boost 
and just keep on boosting until our orbit becomes that small. Right about there. But it might bounce off the surface because this is because we did make this rocket with lots of things, so here we go. Okay, we did bounce like expected, but we're going way too far. We're going way too far. Our RCs are out of control. Our RCs are going out of control. And we're glitching out. Don't worry though, we don't need our RCs anymore. Now the problem is getting there now. Let's slow down time. And now we're heading our way over to the rocket. But don't be too fast when we just hit it. Now slow down time. Hold on. What's that in the distance? Oh, they see us. Is Sees us. Oh no, we have a problem. We have a problem. We need to uh, revert time. <laughs> we crashed while we tried to land. Damn it, that's too far. Okay, hopefully your RCs are going to land us right next to our rocket. Or aka our lander. Oh, he sees us again. Is that a fuel rocket? Yep, yes. it is. Uh oh. Well, uh, the same thing ha basically happened. Yeah, at least we got ourselves rescued by rescuing ourselves. Okay, now this is the most difficult part of the mission. At least our boosters can act like helpers, basically. And we've got to use as little as fuel as possible to get there. To save as much fuel as possible. Because like he said before, when we before we took off, he only has five percent fuel, so we give him as much as possible. Now we need to somehow dock upside down. Okay, now we're just basically on our way. Now here's the thing. Good job it has a big, uh, what is it called? Yeah, basically a docking port, which is basically big enough where we could fit if we we're lucky enough. Now this is the difficult part. Oof, we didn't do that, Seb. It should be the last bit. Boom! <laughs> 
59% fuel should be enough to get home. Now we don't need this rocket anymore, plus now we're both together. Because, if you're wondering how I got here, it's because while we've been transferred, while the fuel's been transferred, I was inside the fuel. Now, let's return home. But first, you can get more fuel from the command module. Auto creating infinite fuel. Wait, what? What's going on? What just happened? Wait, now we have infinite fuel. Oh, I did not know that was a thing. Anyways, uh, let's just refuel with the command module on the other way. Let's not. Why? I just want to relax. Okay, fine. Let's get out of here. We have escaped! Now what do we do? We navigate... We, we'll go back home. Man, I really miss Mars. Yeah, it was a good time, wasn't it? Not that much. But I am still gonna miss that place. Well, there's our drop off. Looks like we gotta decelerate. Is that a thing? Yeah. Uh, wait, couldn't you just use infinite fuel in the first place? No, because we need at least over 50% fuel to activate infinite fuel. Oh, that makes sense. Anyways, let's approach Earth. We're going home, baby! Yep, we are sure going home. Yay! Wait, now what? Did you not notice anything? Notice what? Look! Whoa! What did you do? Whoa! Whoa! Inside! Whoa! This is cool! I know, right? This is what I did while I've been waiting in Mars for you. Let's just try and crawl ourselves out. And now head towards more the earth again. Some time later. Well, what's going on? Well, what's going on? No, no, no. Don't worry. Our heat shields do most of the burning. Ah! What happened? Parachute. Don't really, we don't need a heat shield anymore. Now we can speed up time. I can see the ground. I can't believe we back. I am back to Earth. I've never been to Earth for a while. This is so good. I'm happy to be home. You're welcome. Wait, how did you even hear me? Through the walkie talkie. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Anyways, we're about to hit the Earth's surface.
Let's check our speed. Only 6.2 meters per second. Explains why it's so long. Yay! We did it! Hope you guys enjoyed that roleplay video of Space Flight Simulator. I know it had really weird laws on that, but still, I tried my best with my friend Thomas, who did the uh, astronaut thing, but when uh, he only did two voice lines, so that's why voice lines most, most of it. But still, so the, that's the end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more more content like this. Next time, if this video gets at least three likes, this video, like, if this video gets these li three likes, then we'll do a safe Venus mission. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you later, everybody.